Welcome back guys, it's craft time. In today's video, we are doing another thrift flip. I found these in adorable little containers off of Facebook Marketplace and I just had to have them. So I'm gonna take you along with me as I give them a new look. Let's go ahead and get started. So when I saw these boxes, I just knew they had to be mine. I thought they had adorable detail to them. They're perfect little storage containers. However, I was not a fan of the colors. Um, they were also pretty beat up. They had lots of nicks and um, dinks all in them from use over the years. So I wanted to go ahead and give them their second life. And I'm going to take you along with me as I do it. To begin, I went ahead and washed them up because they were a little dirty and then I removed all of the stickers that were on there. Some of them were price tags and the others were just like the manufacturer sticker. After I got them all cleaned up, I wanted to give them a good sanding, just a pretty light sanding, but a thorough sanding to kind of wear those dinks and um, cracks and crevices down a little bit. That way, whenever I put my coat of paint on, it's nice and smooth and um, not has too much texture left over. For my base paint, I want all three boxes to have a black base coat. So I went ahead and used my black acrylic paint. It's just my standard everyday black acrylic paint. And I gave them all a good one coat over. And then for the inside of the lid and the containers, I did a second coat to make it nice and finished because I want the inside to stay black and then I plan on painting the outsides a different color. In order to set that black in after it had plenty of time to dry, I took my clear matte Rust-Oleum spray paint and I gave it a good spritz all over. And then for the inside, because that is its final coat, I went ahead and did a polycrylic coat on each side of, um, sorry, on the inside of each container and lid to seal that black in. That way if someone's using it, it's not gonna get all scratched up and beat up on them. After I was done with that, I took some masking tape and I put it around the lip of the lids and the containers in order to help me kind of control my chalk paint and keep that inside nice and fresh and clean looking. So I put that on, I made sure I rubbed my finger around the edges to try to seal it pretty well, and then I got my chalk paints ready. So I'll be using the white from Art Minds and then the sea Seaside, it's like a light greenish color from Folk Art. I'm going to use the white on the smallest and the largest box and then the seaside on the middle box. That way whenever they're stacked up, they're cute and there's a break in the color um, and it just adds us something a little more fun instead of just having a solid, solid stack of colors. To apply the paint, I went ahead and mixed it in with some water to make that paint not so thick and that way whenever I go to paint it on, it will go on nice and smooth. I'm just going to use a soft bristle brush and go ahead and put my first coats on each one. This does take several coats, so I think I went over it three times and then on the fourth go I just touched up any areas that needed it. Um, I had my paint pretty thin because again I wanted it to have a really smooth look. Um, if you don't make it as thin then you won't need as many coats. This was just my preference for this specific project. So once I finished with the chalk paint coats, I was ready to distress. Now to do this, I'm just going to take a, you can use a wet rag, you can use a baby wipe, a wet paper towel, um, whatever you need, as long as you haven't let your chalk paint sit for too long. So I would suggest you doing this relatively quickly after it's dried. If you wait overnight or an entire day, you might need to use um, a fine grit sandpaper. But for this one, I just did a wet distress and all I want to do is hit those, those hard lines around the, you know, those hard edges around the, the top of the lid and around the bottom and then those cute little details on the side and just highlight those. And when I do this, because I set that black in, I'll be able to take it and distress it back down to that black color and have a really good pop of color, but also make all three of those kind of go together even if though one of them will be a different color. After I've done distressing it, um, which let me mention, if you're new to this, the harder you press, the more paint will come off. 
So if you take off too much, you can always add paint back on. Or if you don't want too much of a distress, you can just press lightly and it'll slowly take it off. Again, it all depends on the pressure that you put onto it. The harder you push, the more it will come off. The less that you push, the less it will come off. Once I was done distressing, I was ready to go ahead and seal in the chalk paint. Chalk paint has to be sealed in. If not, it'll eventually wear off. Um, if it ever gets wet, it can just wipe right off. Over time, it'll end up just rubbing off. So you definitely want to seal it in. You can do this using a wax or some type of top coat. For these ones, I'm going to just do the wax. I have the Waverly Wax in white or clear. I believe I used the clear on these ones. And all you need to do is take a rag or something that's not going to leave fibers on it and rub it on and then just wipe it off. And what that's going to do is just kind of seal that paint in. That way it's not going to go anywhere. And it also makes it nice and smooth to the touch, which is very satisfying. But that way people can use it and it's not going to ding up on them or wipe off or come off on their hands or just have that chalky feel to it. And that's all we did with this project. It was a quick, easy, and simple flip, but I love how they turned out. Thank you guys so much for coming back to see me. I really, really appreciate all of your support. If you're new, I would love for you guys to, to join me and hit subscribe. If you guys like this content, just let me know. Give me a thumbs up and comment below if you like the color choices that I've made. Again, I didn't like how um, the colors that were on them originally, but I do love this clean, crisp new look that they have. I'm going to go ahead and take you in for a closer look, and I will see you next time.